And now, CBS 21 Sports with Jason Bristow. We are live at Metro Bank Park, home of the Harrisburg Senators. It is the Senators' home opener tonight, taking on the Reading Phillies, the double-A team of the Philadelphia Phillies. Obviously, there's always a buzz on opening day, but this year, this team, there's a lot less hype. What do I mean by that? Well, there's no Steven Strasburg, there's no Bryce Harper, and when the team got back to Harrisburg last week, there was no group of national reporters either. It was very low key, and I can tell you this, the players actually prefer that. They like when things are kind of normal. It's a little nice to get a little less hoopla, but at the same time, we, got, we also have a really good team. So we got a lot of talent. Maybe guys you haven't even heard of yet that you're going to find out that are good players. I mean, when I got here last year, when Bryce was here, and there was people like lined up along these ropes that you had to walk through, and it was just, that was ridiculous. But it was fun, you know, to be a part of that. Yeah, it was fun while it lasted. Of course, Bryce Harper is in Syracuse this year. Steven Strasburg beginning the season in the major leagues. Obviously, opening day means different things to different people. And obviously, there's going to be a lot of players on this field enjoying opening day. But what about the guys who are no longer here? The guys who retired just recently? How do they feel about opening day and not being a part of the lineup any longer? batting practice for Melvin Dorda. He's now the one giving the pointers. Field, so just be patient and wait for the ball. After a long career in pro ball, including four seasons with the Senators, he's now an instructor right. at the B2B training facility at in the net in Lebanon County. Here he works with a lot of kids, including his own. But not being in uniform on an opening day for the first time in 12 years, it's hard. Even when you play that long, even when you play 10, 12 years, Still, the opening day, you know, after you play 12 years, still, still a nervous day. That kind of feeling from opening day is still fresh in the minds of hundreds of other pros now out of baseball. It's a How difficult transition going from this to something else. It's no wonder so many try to stay as close to the game as possible. The hardest part about uh, getting into coaching was realizing that I was done playing. Matt LeCroy believes he's one of the lucky ones. Three years ago, he went straight from playing to managing. Now he's running the Senators. But after my first season as a manager, I, it kind of changed because I saw that the impact that you can make possibly on guys becoming big leaguers, and that fuels my fire now. Melvin Dorda still has a burning desire to play since he's only 30, but now his top priority is his family. He doesn't miss the travel of baseball and being away from his kids. And after seeing his five-year-old do his Derek Jeter impression, <laughs> <laughs> Can you blame him? Be able to come to this facility and be an instructor and then be a dad, helping them to get better every single time, coaching them. Now I'm going to have time to coach him. That's a cute little kid, huh? Someday he may be the next Derek Jeter. You just do not know. We have one Phillies-related note to tell you about. Tomorrow night's game against the New York Mets, that game is now on the CW, CW 15. It's the Mets and Phillies beginning at 7 o'clock. Back live here at Metro Bank Park, the Phillies double-A team taking on the Harrisburg Senators. It's a bit chilly, it's a bit windy, but hopefully it will still be a great night for baseball. Tanya, back to you. All right, it's baseball in April in Central PA. What can we expect, right? <laughs> You're exactly right. All right, Jason, thank you. Well, coming up tomorrow, CBS 21's Kirk Clyde will be emceeing at the 64th annual Black and Blue Ball. In